Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. On Windows, in the system tray, there is an icon you can click to safely remove hardware and eject media. Right click the icon, find the name of your iOS device, and click it to eject it. If it does not appear on this list, it is not mounted as a drive and you can simply unplug it. Let's help you make your mark. Unlink iPhone or Android phone and PC in Settings on Windows 10 PC. Open Settings, and click Tap on the phone icon. Click Tap on the Unlink this PC link. See screenshot below. Your linked iPhone or Android phone will now be unlinked from this Windows 10 PC. You can now close Settings if you like. Let's help you make your mark. The iPhone, like every USB storage device, should be ejected before disconnecting. Simply unplugging an iPhone from your computer is never a good idea. Like any other USB device capable of interacting with your computer, it may be in the process of updating files when you pull it from the computer. Let's help you make your mark. To do this, click Messages, Preferences from the menu bar at the top of your Mac screen. In the Messages Preferences menu that appears, click the iMessage tab. To completely disable the Messages app, click the Sign Out button next to your Apple ID under the Settings tab. 18 March 2020. Take our lead. Before disconnecting it. Is as safe if you don't eject first? Mostly yes, but not guaranteed. As long as there isn't an active file transfer, or the device isn't otherwise being accessed by your computer, it's pretty much fine to do 0.7 January 2020. Take our lead. The iPhone does not need to be ejected, as it has no disk mode, and isn't in use on the computer unless iTunes is actively synchronizing it. No, ejection is not required. The iPhone is designed to be removed from the dock to accept a received call so the same applies if using the cable without the dock. 16 September 2007 Let's help you make your mark. On your Mac, go to System Preferences, General and uncheck the Allow Handoff setting. Hi, if the iPhone says it is using one ID and the Mac is also getting the iMessages it sounds like the iPhone number, in that send and receive spot, has become unticked. Remove the Apple ID, sign out, point three zero June 2015. Take our lead. Question, Q, how to unlink iPhone from Mac to turn off handoff on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, go to Settings, General, Handoff and Suggested Apps, and turn off handoff. On your Mac, go to System Preferences, General and uncheck the Allow Handoff setting.30 June 2015. Make your mark, take our lead. In the Messages app on your Mac, use the Settings pane of iMessage Preferences to change options for your iMessage account. To change these preferences, choose Messages, Preferences, then click iMessage. When, Enable Messages in iCloud is turned on, all your texts appear on all your devices automatically. Make your mark, take our lead. 
Just pull down the notifix. Bar on the droid greater than tap turn off USB storage greater than tap turn off greater than unplug phone from PC. Make sure you close any explorer windows first on the PC. Don't try to use the PC's eject feature.7 January 2010. Take our lead. When you press the eject button, iTunes checks to make sure if it has finished using the iPod. When it has finished, and if no other program is using your iPod, such as antivirus programs, iTunes will confirm to you that it is then safe to disconnect the iPod, unplug the cable, point one January 2014. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.